The Modern Lake House by Hardwick General Contracting. This full home renovation went through a night and day difference. And today you're gonna see how this house went from this to this. Take a tour with us and hear from the designer and the builder on the challenges they had to endure on this full home renovation for this year's Parade of Homes Orlando. Welcome to the modern lake house on Lake Gatlin, on the Conway chain of lakes, just south of downtown Orlando. Checking out this amazing remodel by Hardwick General Contracting and the designer, Concrete to Cotton. As you step in, you're greeted by super high ceilings, stepping through that glass pivoting door from Euro wall. And look at this, how it just steps up, steps down with so many cool design elements in this main living space, including a two-story wood slat wall with a 100-inch television embedded into it. This is an entertainer's dream lake house. So many cool features to show you. We're gonna be hearing from the builder and the designer on how they brought this whole project to life because this was a remodel, believe it or not. Let's talk about the specs of this home. So it's 3650 square feet in the main house, four bedrooms, two full baths, two half baths, and a 450 square foot boat house out in the back. Those are pretty rare here in Central Florida. Sitting on 1.65 acres of property, privately gated, heading down to Lake Gatlin on the Conway chain of lakes. I wanna thank the owners for allowing us to film for the parade. This is a lived in home. First, we step up into a nice little sitting area space that looks out over your private circular driveway. You really see all the levels from up here in this space. The kitchen is completely elevated with this thickened edge countertop that has hidden features that pop up for outlets this is a Sub-Zero hidden refrigerator and freezer combo. Super flush look, push to open cabinet doors and double ovens, the panel ready dishwasher. And over here, they even did things like making the outlets look exactly like the backsplash. Now in many kitchens, you have a hidden pantry, but in this one, they're taking it to the next level and it steps back all the way into another wing of the house with an additional half bath, the walk-in pantry, and the laundry room around this corner, which takes you back to the garage and a side yard. But first I wanna show you this outer bathroom that was added. This is a dark and moody space with textured walls. And this sink and vanity goes all the way behind there with your faucet built into the wall there. And you close the door, it takes on a whole personality of its own. Take you upstairs to the primary suite. On your way up, you gotta stop and take a look at that view. Top of the world. We have arrived in this open concept bedroom suite. Imagine waking up to that view every morning and saying, maybe I'll go on the lake today or I'll enjoy my fully renovated home with smart home features. Okay, the primary bath. Stepping through this panel door takes you into more stunningly visual primary bathroom and closet. LED lit shelving goes all the way down there. Picture windows and skylights and massive shower with a bench to just sit and enjoy the views. Okay, now that you've seen a quick layout of this home, let's hear from the designers of this property as well as the builder on the details that went into this renovation. And this is Seth, and we are both designers at Concrete to Cotton. 
they asked us if we would maybe consider doing their new lake home. So they took us out to this house and we look at it and it was a mess. And we knew it was perfect for us because it was exactly what we want. We like a house that's messy so that we can fix it and make it pretty again. As they say, it had good bones. <laughs> good bones. The idea was a really modern, contemporary lake home. We wanted to capitalize on the views and we really wanted to draw the eye out rather than really focusing on the interior, even though the interior is like super cool. They said, we like what you like, make it ultra modern, and we just kind of ran with that. From the paneled wall that we have in the living room, all of the custom bar work that we did. National Woodworks literally did every cabinet, every feature wall. That was the big one because they were able to take our ideas and, and bring them to reality. Our countertops in the kitchen, we use Valiant brand quartz. Mombasa is the name of it. We did a four inch miter with this really really awesome waterfall edge. We actually added a half bath to this home, knowing that the client wanted to entertain a lot. We want people to come out of this bathroom and go tell their friends, hey, you gotta go check this bathroom out. So that was kind of our goal, to make it moody, just really cool, funky, different. Maybe kind of feeling like a Vegas modern. That bathroom actually has a atrium off of it. So we did a custom concrete countertop with this kind of natural stone sort of chiseled edge feel to it. And we did multiple rain heads in there. So you really feel like you're in the rainforest taking a shower in that space. The original fireplace actually spanned from this column to the wall as we were rethinking this space and how it would work. And then we got into the fireplace itself and we knew we wanted those contrasting colors. And originally we had found a black marble along with using it for the fireplace down here. And we used it for a custom table in the dining space. Not only did we get the fire rating we needed, but then for the custom dining table, we were able to do it without having to do a seam. And then this is our bar space. We used, again, kind of all that white oak and we're, we tried to maintain that continuity throughout the house. What, what's really great is right in here, we have an ice maker. So they've got easy access um, to their ice for their drinks. And then over here, we used Sub-Zero panel ready integrated fridges and tried to do our best to really make this look sleek and, uh, and include kind of all the storage that they could possibly need. What's super cool about this whole house is the whole home automation. Everything can be operated from the client's iPhone or from their little iPad that they just keep in their kitchen. Even in a 1990s home, it's like magic. first floor has four levels. Coming in, this is actually a raised part of the floor that we did to kind of bridge the front door over to the rest of the home here. So working out the flooring, what we wanted to do with the flooring, there were some other things that we did to increase the insulation. We rewired the house. We put a lot of home technology in, replumbed the house. We had the engineer check the beam across there and we were able to go to the 12 foot instead of the, the 10 foot that was there before. We use Eurowall on these sliders, which are known for really big glass, really tall glass, low profile styles. So you get a lot of natural light. And this fireplace is definitely a focal feature that uh, it kind of looked like a 70s, 80s kind of mix of uh, had waterfall, you know, yeah. water coming in behind it and joke around with the owners. It looked like the fireplace over at Linda's Can Cantina on 50, if you've ever been to that steakhouse. With the designers redoing some of the textures in here, we had a lot of coatings that we came in and put to flatten out a lot of the knockdown textures that we had on these columns and this large flue. Smoothed it all out as much as we could to get that more modern contrasting look. New uh, HVAC systems, all of the electric, all of the plumbing, all of the low V. We always enjoy challenges, so we had fun with it. Well, as Orlando ages, right, some of our best areas of Orlando, like Bay Hill, Windermere, Winter Park, sometimes it's better not to tear the house down. This design is very unique and working with the uh, designers was a blast. I love the master bath. I know we see the finished product and how amazing it looks at the end, but you guys saw it from start to finish. How long did this approximately take to do? It's anywhere between nine and 12 months. We started some demo work early on so we could see what we had, what we had to re-engineer. And then we came in and the engineer came in and designed what needed to be accomplished to get what the interior designers wanted. And then we went to permit, got our permit back. And after that probably took another nine to 10 months to complete. And the whole time the homeowner lived in the boathouse. Yeah, so they got to see the project come to life step by step. It's been a cool 
project. I have to ask, do you like doing remodels or is it, uh, you know, would you rather see teardowns and builds? What's your preference? Remodels like this, we love. Those type of things we really enjoy doing because we know how to deconstruct them. We know how to put them together. In some cases, you know, this house being where it is, some of the uh, auxiliary structures as it has, like the boathouse. You know, when you go to tear this down and start over, some of those things aren't allowed anymore. They're not grandfathered in. So when you can get grandfathered into zoning requirements from the original home and components of that property that were there that you couldn't do today, remodel's the way to go. That was The Lake House by Hardwick General Contracting and Concrete to Cotton Design Team. And if you'd like to find a lakefront property like this, although it might be tough to find here in Central Florida, you can reach out to me at the number below. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next Parade Homes video right here on this channel. Until then, I'm gonna go check out this lake view. See ya. I want to thank our incredible team. We could not have done this without everyone. Hardwick General Contracting and his team, they were amazing. Metro Finishes for doing all the custom work. Same with uh, McGuckin's Custom Metals and National Woodworks. Artisan Kitchen and Bath for all of their incredible fixtures. Manor's Concrete for doing a custom concrete countertop. Who am I forgetting? Millennium, Millennium Systems Design for doing all of the integrated lighting and whole home automation. And Britannia um, for doing all of the incredible work on the floors. ProSource for their materials. Vitrolum glass, anywhere you see glass, glass railing, uh, glass shower walls, uh, mirrors, vitrolum glass, they were awesome, they were in here great people. Mansion windows. I mean, this view is everything. And without mansion windows and their incredible Euro wall system, we couldn't have made this house look nearly as beautiful. So huge thank you to them too. I love this job. This is the best ever. It's a dream come true. And I, I want to thank our clients, the whole team, clients and all, just a total dream come true. Follow us on Instagram at concrete to cotton. And also you can check out our website, www.concretetocotton.com. She's concrete on cotton. <laughs>